Good morning, folks. Today's video is on an experiment I'm doing. And thanks to Golden Mate for sending me their 100 amp hour 12 volt battery so I can conduct this experiment. Though they didn't know that's what they were doing. <laughs> if you're either living off grid or you're part time off grid like we are, you always have this energy draw called a refrigerator and a freezer. The problem is when you come out here for a week or two or a month or when I was living out here, you don't have a means then of freezing food and keeping it stored frozen. So what do you do to freeze things when you come out here for a week? We bought this Smitty built refrigerator. We call it the refrigerator. <laughs> it's a fridge and freezer. You can use it either way. We bought that for camping for when we go overlanding in our Jeeps. And we decided to start using it when we come out here. We come out here for a week, we bring that out. We, we pack it full of anything we need to freeze. Like this trip, my wife just stuffed it full of frozen stuff and put both sides as freezers. And we're using it as a chest freezer out here. And it sips the power, folks. In fact, it's using so little power that my experiment is going a little astray. I did the math on how long the Jackery should run that refrigerator. And it should have been between 20 and 30 hours, roughly based on that Smitty Built has a 173 watt hour battery that they say is a six hour battery, which is 173 watt hours. So I did the math, divided that by six, figured that's what it used per hour, took the Jackery 550, divided 550 by six, and said it should run this long approximately. I'm sure depending on how often you open it or whatever. So I started my experiment yesterday morning at 8.15. I figured this morning at 8.15, the Jackery would be near dead, close to it. It was at 66%. And I noticed that that refrigerator currently in dual freezer mode in a room that's about 45 to 55 degrees, it's only using one to two watts in any given time until it cycles. Then it uses between 22 and 30. Well, it's just sipping the power like this. And I'm thinking it's because everything's frozen inside of it, so it's staying really cold, obviously making it more efficient. We're not opening it as much as you would a refrigerator. So my experiment that I thought would really do a good job of telling me how well that 1280 watt hour battery would maintain the Jackery got a little off the rails. I'm now thinking I'll be able to run all week without ever plugging that refrigerator into the solar power at the cabin. Now, what's the point of that? I've got the solar power, right? It's not like I have to do this. However, if you're like me, and you like off-grid, and you like overlanding or camping, maybe you're a prepper, this is something you might wanna know if you can do or not. Can you power one of these small refrigerators or and or freezers off of a Jackery 550, which is normally not big enough to do this kind of stuff, right? It's pretty small. But can you do that with a big battery tied to it as if it were a solar panel? Good question, right? Well, I'm going to postulate that the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> as of right now, I believe it's absolutely yes. So there you have it. That's my crazy experiment. Thank you, Golden Mate, for sending me the battery. And I'm gonna be using it for a couple different purposes. One, this kind of stuff is awesome. I don't need to do it out here, I have plenty of power, but it's kind of nice to be able to do this. But my main focus is when we go overlanding in, in our Jeeps, we'll be able to take that battery, plug that in, and give us way more time to run that refrigerator without having to worry about plugging it into the Jeep to charge it up or put up a solar panel or anything else. So if we can run that refrigerator all week long without needing to charge it back up, that's fantastic. And we got a big trip coming this summer where we're gonna go four days without being anywhere near somewhere to charge it up. So we either use a solar panel or this battery. I think we're gonna be able to do that in spades. And on the fourth night, we're gonna be in an Airbnb for a couple nights. We'll charge everything back up. We'll be good to go and away we go. So that's fantastic. The other use, of course, is just the battery alone. And I'll use that to power my canoe. And I'm gonna to have to come up with a small MPPT controller that I can run maybe my Jackery's foldable solar panel to charge that battery up when it's not in use. So we're gonna find out without further ado, Let's go take a quick look at that setup again, and then I'm gonna come back to you periodically. So it's gonna be a flash in your world, but I'll come back periodically and tell you how we're doing and let you know how that Golden Mate battery does. I don't know, is it really gonna provide 1280 watt hours of power or 100 amp hours? Folks, we're gonna find out. If that battery holds up for a whole week, no charging, okay conditions, because it's gonna get down into the 40s at night, and 
maybe up to 60 degrees during the day, especially if the sun is, is shining down on the pop can solar heater, then you know what? We might be looking really good. If it doesn't, well then I'm gonna tell you it doesn't. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, I don't think they'd send it to me if it wouldn't hold up in the first place. I mean, who would do that, right? I will tell you this, there's a link down below that you can go check this battery out. It's actually really inexpensive. So considering what I've paid for batteries in the past, this one, last time I looked, I wanna say it was 219 or 229 for a 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour, 12 volt LiPo 4 battery with a BMS. And folks, that's pretty cool. No readout or anything like that. I don't even see that there's a Bluetooth for the BMS, but it's supposed to protect it. I'm gonna trust that it will. We're gonna push this battery all week, folks. I'm gonna let that battery drain down. If it drains to zero, guess what? We're gonna let it drain to zero and find out how it does. So stick with me. We've got about a week before this video's done. Let's go check it out real quick. And we're 86, 86 watts coming in, 25 watts going out, and we're already at 69. The refrigerator's running. This thing's running off the wall. <laughs> like I said, we're 69%, pulling 86 watts, output 25. Interesting. That tells me that that little 24 volt puck is only putting out about 86 watts. Although that's fine because it's still 25 going down here. That still gives me 6061 that's recharging the Jackery. Should work pretty good. So I'll come back to you in a little bit, let you know how it's doing. I also want to point out that the Golden Mate battery has seriously superior performance to your typical lead acid battery. It actually has 10 times the cycle life and there's no memory effect. So that's pretty crazy, seriously consistent capacity. It has 100% protection from the BMS. That ensures protection against overcharging, over discharge, which it did during my test well, protected it from over discharge, over current, overheating, and short circuiting. And of course, they are great for wide applications. I mean, you could use them on wheelchairs or emergency lighting, RVs, marine use, like a trolling motor that I'm gonna do, golf carts, you know, home energy storage, you name it, all kinds of things. They're easy to expand. You can put them in series, you can put them in parallel, either way, so that you can either increase the voltage from 12 volts up to 51.2 volts and 400 amp hours. Effort Effortless recharge with the right chargers or with solar panels or generators. That's a great battery, folks. Well, we we have been running on the Golden Mate 100 amp hour battery. The Jackery is currently showing 100% with a two watt draw. It does run up to close to 30 watts. We are now Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's now Wednesday, four days in, 96 hours. I figured I would get at least 100 hours. But as I mentioned earlier, that Smitty built refrigerator, it's not using much power. The experiment was to see if I could run this way for at least four or five days, if not an entire week. I think we're gonna get a whole week, folks. So stick around. We got a few more days to go before this video ends. Hang in there, let's get to it. All right, folks. Well, I got my multimeter out. We are at 100% pulling 35, 36 watts off the Golden Mate battery, putting 29 into the refrigerator. And I just checked the voltage and it was 12.91 volts after four and a half days of providing power to the Jackery. And I know the Jackery can give us over 24 hours too. So it'll be interesting to see because I'm going to drive that guy right down to zero. We'll see how long it takes. We're at 100% drawn two watts. Let's see what the voltage is on this guy here. This is a little awkward to do. <laughs> So this battery is currently at 12.8 volts. We're getting down there. All right, this is, uh, I think yesterday I said four days, but I guess technically Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday makes four days. Today we're into the fifth day. We just crossed into the fifth day. 12.8 volts on the Golden Mate 100 amp hour battery. And uh, that Smitty Built is still running just fine. Both sides in freezer mode, so we're, this is working out pretty good. It's pretty interesting. We'll see how it goes. More to come. Stick around. Back in a flash. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. And uh, we're at 80%. Not drawing anything off that battery. So that's the first time we've seen it go there. That means uh, probably a few hours into the night there, several hours ago, the BMS on that battery must have shut it down. But uh, I'm going to check the voltage on it and just see where we're at. <laughs> it's showing... 
0.5 volts, so completely dead. We had charged up the Jackery. The battery on the refrigerator's charged up. And on Sunday, we put it on just the Jackery. 24 hours later, so Monday morning, I hooked up the Golden Mate battery and let it run. So that was Monday. It had to charge up the Jackery, so we're gonna start from Sunday because we had to charge up the Jackery. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five full days, we ran this refrigerator, dual zone, 75 liter, Smitty Belt refrigerator, off the Golden Mate 100 amp hour battery, five full days. That's fantastic, I'm really impressed. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's something I can grab and pick up. And you know, yes, if you were to just have a Jackery 2000, it would just be one unit and you wouldn't have to, you know, have the whole thing cart around both of these pieces with you if you were coming out to a cabin in the woods like this or if you were doing some camping. On the other hand, these two things combined are about Mm, a half to a third of the price. I think it's half the price of a Jackery 1500 and about a third of the price of a 2000. Now, to be fair, this Jackery has a 500 watt inverter, pure sine wave. The 2000 has 2000 watt inverter. So yes, you would get a more powerful inverter. However, for what we're doing, you really don't need it. From my perspective, if your goal was to have an off-grid cabin with very little cost into the power system itself, where maybe you could run some lights, some LED lights or something, you could run a little refrigerator freezer like this one here, spend a week at a cabin, and you know maybe just have a hundred or couple hundred watt solar panels to recharge things up. Could you do it like this? Absolutely, you know, or for that matter. If you had a generator, you could recharge these up after a week. I mean, that's crazy. That's really a, a nice option to have. So kudos to Golden Mate. I'm impressed with that battery. We will be using it when we go camping slash overlanding this summer. And it was really nice to be able to do this and, and try this out. We didn't have to use any power at all for an entire week, basically, to power this little refrigerator here, which we're just using as a freezer. Now, I will throw this out. <laughs> that refrigerator is currently set to freezer on both sides, and I think it uses less power that way. It, you wouldn't think so, but I think because everything's frozen inside of it, it might hold that a little bit better. So we're gonna find out when we go and do an overlanding trip into Idaho this summer, does it perform the same way then when you're getting in and out of it, maybe a little bit more, one side's a freezer, one side's a refrigerator. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. But as far as the battery is concerned, it does what they say it will do. And I think that's the most important thing. And I pushed it completely drained that battery, 100%. So <laughs> now it does have a BMS. That may be why it's not showing any voltage hardly at all. It's, it's six tenths of a volt or something. It could be because the BMS has shut it off and said, no, you're not getting anything more out of me. The, the same thing happens with my mules. They're set to go, they're a 24 volt battery and they're set to drop out between 20 and 21 volts. Shut her off, you can't get anything else out of me. But I'm pretty impressed. And if you wanna check it out yourself, I'll drop a link down below for you to check out. Thanks Golden Mate for sending that to me. Full disclosure, they did send it to me. I didn't buy that, but I am pretty impressed with it and I can't wait to try it out on a trolling motor for my canoe. I'll probably bring that to you or over on my Jeep channel either way. For now, folks, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out.